All right, fellow YouTubers, wrapping up a install Chinese diesel heater. What we've done here is we've tapped into the RV's current ducting for the heat, and uh, we've got the heater's going to be mounted here below the stairs. This is just an internal wall. The wall uh, extends all the way to the floor of the camper, even though where you where you walk is up there. <laughs> but we're going to have to add a couple of there. We've added the ducting in here. Don't see the wall, of course. This is the double wall. But that's actually going to be tucked in below the stairs. We'll show you more about that later. So right about where the blue tape is, that is where the inside of the stowage bay would be. So the stowage bay wall runs all the way from this outside wall to the other outside wall, supporting the, the bathroom and in this flooring substantially. That is also where the window, where I cut through the, that wall to go into there to be able to install the heater. The wall I cut through to install the heater into these step stair rungs is approximately right where the blue tape is on the underside in the stowage bay. Buy a slightly larger hole saw than you think you need. That took quite a bit of effort to, kept having to just kind of use the hole saw to router out the, the hole big enough to get the ducting through but you can see the other additional plumbing and stuff that the factory already installed I want to kind of cover this hole a little bit because this is not where I want to draw my intake air for the burner well, you'll see later where I've divided the use the natural materials of the camper to divide the heat side from the flame side or you know the flame has its own intake and exhaust and then the the heated Ducting will be on a separate divided portion. Here we're showing the installation process. We're going to put a Chinese diesel heater in here. By the natural process of this being the back side of the stairs, we've actually drilled a hole through one of the sides. Uh, we'll get the terminology later. For the stair, drawing air in here and blow air into the duct here and it's gonna blow into the existing heater duct. We're gonna probably draw, drawing fresh air in. I'm actually gonna to try to draw air through the, where the piping is routed in the camper. So it'll draw some of the warm air from the rest of the camper back through the, where the piping is to keep the pipe formed. Here's our exhaust. That's gonna go through the side of the RV through that marine grade port. Here we are the exhaust port for the camper. This is a marine grade exhaust port for the Chinese diesel heaters. I don't know if y'all saw this earlier in this video. Kind of butchered a hole in there before I went and bought a hole saw. So made a hole saw panel here that's gonna kind of seal up this duct a little better. We're just trying to get draw air in from one spot and draw push air out through another without getting too much other air involved drawing cool air or slightly warm air from the camper and blow it out back into the camper's ducting. All right, forgive the lighting. It is getting late in the evening. But we've got this mock-up going on here. We've got the air inlet unit in place. Don't know if we can even get the camper back here. And the ducting here back in place plates down, exhaust mocked up, put the, gotta put the air inlet on the, the burner system and you know it'll be in a good comfortable spot where you just come back and add clamps and hardware tomorrow evening and get fuel on it. This heater has been installed in this camper for about three winters now and have had very little issues with it. I did have a hot spot, I'll show you all that in, in the next clip. I have a hot spot where the flooring below this step was starting to get discolored and I would smell warm plastic or vinyl. So I've added a heat sink of aluminum there, bit some aluminum flashing, screwed it to the floor, and now that protects the floor from the heat coming off that exhaust. 
Now I'm seeing some discoloration on there, which tells me I definitely have a pinhole in my exhaust tubing. And that's why I found it so important to keep, to separate the chambers for, this is where it's drawing in cool air, or this is where it's drawing in air from my RV, going through the heater, and then blowing it back into my RV. And so this being in a separate chamber makes me feel a lot better. Also, you may have seen a still image. This is 3D printed, basically made an adapter that screws onto the nose of the heater. And it, I uploaded it to Thingiverse when I first designed this, I believe. And it might still be there if Thingiverse is still a thing. All right, here you see I'm in the living room of my RV. These cabinets contain different various things like coat closet and DVD players. This particular cabinet did not have a cabinet door. It actually just had a blank panel. That is where the RV manufacturer hides, where they're bringing in the, the water for the RV. The reason I've had that panel removed is to keep these pipes from freezing. I've actually had a heat lamp aimed at them. My plan here today is I'm going to add ducting into this panel, heat that chamber, and then the panel that goes here will get a register installed in it. So we'll heat that chamber, and then that warm air will come through that register and heat the living room further adding utility to the diesel heater installed in the camper. You can actually hear the diesel heater pump clicking. We just added a T and then that T goes behind the hot water heater here and goes into the cabinet for the living room that will heat the incoming lines going into the trailer. I know this kit initially came with a plastic T that was a much better fit to that black accordion hose due to the fact that it doesn't fit very well to this T that I got at the hardware store. We had to use the hardware store tubing or ducting for pretty much the rest of the project, which I was going to have to use it from the T on to the living room anyway. But there it is. You can actually hear also the hot water heater heating up water as well as that pump starting to pick up pace there goes through a startup sequence where it gets up to speed. Anyway, this project is done on the underside here. I'm going to put the insulation back. Heater duct coming from the diesel heater into this cabinet space and that will warm up this cabinet space. And now we're ready for the cover panel and that already has its register installed. This is the part of the video where I say please like, subscribe, and share, which I just said. If you learned something from these videos or would like to learn something from a future video, please put it in the comment section below. And as usual, binge watch the rest of my videos. Don't forget to wrench every day. Y'all behave. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.